10 Scary Games You Shouldn't Play. I want to play a game. No thanks, I don't want to play a game, especially any of these. There are some activities in this world that are better to ignore. Check out the following video and be aware of the games you should escape from. Number 1. Charlie Charlie the Charlie Charlie game was an internet phenomenon in 2015 and became popular among teenagers who uploaded videos of them playing it. Charlie, 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 Charlie. You only need two pencils forming a cross, the words yes and no on a paper, and then just make questions. The pencil is supposed to move to answer every question like a modern Ouija. Of course, comments from religious groups were there. They said it was about a modern invocation of evil spirits. On the other hand, the scientific community called it pseudoscience. What can you say about this? Number 2. The Elevator Game If you ever wanted to go to a different dimension, this might be your only chance. What about the reality we left behind? What about the reality where Hitler cured cancer, Morty? I wouldn't recommend it, though. This game comes from Japan and South Korea, and to play it, you only have to be on an elevator, which is inside a building featuring at least 10 floors. Once you're ready, press 7 different buttons, but keep in mind that if someone gets on or gets off the elevator while you're playing, you have to start all over again. First, you take the elevator on the first floor, then you press the fourth floor button. When you get there, don't step out and go to the second floor, stay on there and press the sixth floor button, don't get off and go back to the second floor. Then press the 10th floor button, and when you get to the top, press the 5th floor button. This is when you pay close attention, because a woman may get on the elevator. If so, do not look at her and do not talk to her either, since this woman isn't a person, and if you focus on her, you might not come back. Finally, press the 1st floor button, but if it goes up to the 10th floor, congratulations then, you won! The new dimension may look pretty similar to yours, except there's a dark environment there, the electrical devices don't work, and you can see a red light through the windows. If you want to come back to your world, you only press the buttons in the same order. If the elevator goes up again instead of going down to the first floor, keep trying until you succeed. Sometimes the dimension wants you to stay, but would you? Number 3. The Three Kings if you're one of those who love long and interesting conversations, then the Three Kings game is for you. You only have to place two mirrors and two chairs facing each other while you sit down on the third chair between the others. Your seat is a throne, so it means you're the king, and the other two chairs are your queen and your fool. But you won't know who is who, and in the other two kings' view, you might be their queen or their fool. This is one of the mysteries that make this game exciting. The game is supposed to give you access to the shadow side. In fact, there's a whole section on the net explaining the complete list of instructions plus the experiences of the users. All I'll say is that you have to set your alarm on for 3 in the morning, and when it rings, you go to the room where everything was set up and hold an interesting conversation from your throne. It goes without saying that you won't be alone, but don't even think of turning to see the other mirrors. I don't know what would happen to you, so eyes front and just focus on fulfilling the curiosities of life. Number 4. Dark Reflection Ritual You see yourself as a lucky person? Well, it's time to prove it. And what better way to do it than by playing the Dark Reflection Ritual game? You only have to find a mirror, look yourself right in it, and concentrate all your negative energy on the reflection. Breathe to fog it over until a black layer covers your reflection. Once this is done, break the mirror so the game begins, and from then on, be on guard, because over the day, bad luck will be following you and the experiences will be more dangerous every hour. But there's a prize. If you make it until you see the sun, they say you will be lucky and successful the rest of your life. Number 5. The Midnight Game if you enjoy having dangerous experiences, the Midnight Game will catch you then. This ritual is believed to be used in the past as a punishment for breaking the rules of the pagan religion. To play it, you must wait until midnight. Besides, you have to get paper, salt, a wooden door, matches, and one drop of your blood. 
Now you must write your name on a paper and let the blood drop fall on it. Then turn all the lights off and go to the wooden door. Place the paper in front of it and light the candle that you put on the paper before. Finally, knock the door 22 times and open it, blow out the candle and close the door. At that moment, you have let the midnight man in, so light the candle back immediately. To win, you have to avoid the midnight man by keeping yourself moving around. If your candle gets extinguished, it means the midnight man is near, so you have 10 seconds to light it back. But if you fail, make a salt circle around you quickly and stay in there until 3 in the morning, because if you're caught, you will have hallucinations containing your greatest fears. Something like a deep Itachi's Genjutsu. There is no doubt that your mind won't be the same after this. Number 6. Dry Bones No one is too old to play hide and seek, but this time we will add to the excitement of this exercise. How about playing it with a demon? I don't recommend losing as the price to be paid is really high, so you do hide very well. To begin, take a candle, a few matches, and go to your bathroom at 12.01 in the morning. Then, look at yourself in the mirror and light the candles at the same time. Let the wick go out on its own, and then say these words, I am aware of your presence, and I welcome you into my home. Come now. It's time to run as fast as you can. Focus on surviving the whole night, and once the clock says 3 in the morning, go to the biggest room in your house and shout, Thank you for playing, but you must leave now. You are no longer welcome. If you hear a growl, it means the demon agreed on leaving. Number 7. The Gambler's Game If you want to be lucky enough to become a real master in Las Vegas, then you must claim the prize of this game. But don't get excited, because you have to beat the gambler first. Fortunately, you choose the card game, but blackjack is recommended. Look around the room and say, let's play. If the gambler is there, you will feel a slight chill on your left, so then you know the game has begun. You will play as you usually would, but this time you will deal the gambler's hand, and when it's his turn, you must put cards from his hand randomly on the table. But watch out! You must never see his hand before it is on the table, otherwise the consequences will be terrible for you. You're playing for your life, so stay focused. If you win, draw the card from the top of your deck and cut your right index with it. If there's blood, means such hand will always win any bet even when used to pick a card, spin roulette, etc. But if you lose, I can only say the gambler won't be fast, but won't be gentle either when claiming his prize. Number 8. The Telephone Game This game comes from far Japan, and despite its name, it has nothing to do with a phone conversation. First, make sure there's no one in your house. Then, go to your bathroom and make a salt line in the entrance, as that is supposed to protect you from whatever comes out from the depths of your bathroom. Get in there and wait for midnight, turn the lights off, and call home with a cell phone. Wait for someone to pick up, and hang up right away, then leave the bathroom. Suddenly, you will hear your landline ringing every now and then, but don't even answer. They say that the person from the other side is an evil spirit, so you don't want to receive this call. Number 9. The Answer Man Were you nervous about playing alone? Relax, the Answer Man game needs up to 10 players. Forming a circle, all of them have to dial the number of the person at their left. If everything goes well, it means one of you has made contact with the Answer Man. Whoever talks to this man can make any question to him, but this mysterious man will also make some to you. You must answer in all honesty. If not, you will pay dearly for it, so don't be like Pinocchio. Number 10. Ouija Perhaps the most legendary ghoulish game. Ouija is older than you and me together, and it gives you the chance of talking to spirits using a planchette. This object will move over the letters on the plank until you get an answer to your questions. Several Christian associations warn about this game, as it is an open door for diabolic possessions. Whether or not to play this dangerous game will only be up to you. Well, this trip was spooky, but would you dare to play any of these games? Which one? 
Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fascinating videos.